Welcome to this final knowledge clip on theories of international migration. Um, the different knowledge clips, they provided us an overview as to how migration can be explained from a macro level perspective, meso level perspective and a uh, micro level perspective. But then one major question remains, how can we make sense of macro and uh, level associations at the micro level? And that is what we will do in this knowledge clip. So what we do in this uh, video is to dive a little bit deeper into how micro-level mechanisms can explain macro-level dynamics, which is kind of the essence of the more integrative approaches that have been discussed in previous knowledge clips. Think about social network theories uh, or the migration transition theories. And we start here from the idea from Coleman, a famous sociologist, who formulated something that is being called the Coleman's boat. And that is the idea that once you are interested in a certain macro level association, as you can see, so there are some social facts at the macro level, and there is an association with a certain social outcome. Think about, uh, let's say, um, there is a change in the migration regime in a certain country, and then you see either an increase or a decrease in international migrants heading towards that country. Then the question is, why is that really happening? What is the mechanism that lies behind this and can explain all of this? And according to Coleman, we have to look always at the micro level if we want to explain such macro level association. And we do that first of all by looking at the situational mechanism, namely how macro level changes can affect on the individual level the motivations of people. How do certain changes in the environment impact on micro-level motivation. Next to this, of course, the micro-level uh, motivations, they lead to an action formation mechanism, which means that people do change also their behavior. So here, what we see is that there is a change in terms of um, agency and, and psychology. So you have the motivations, that's the, uh, the psychology, and then you have certain behavior. There is a change that is happening uh, among the people. That is something that will significantly uh, affect also again the macro level uh, level because then we talk about transformational mechanisms whereby when many people start to change their individual behavior you see a certain outcome at the macro level. Now all of this might sound a little bit of abstract and that is why uh, we go through the graph again uh, but this time with an example formulated by Gottfried Engbersen um, and colleagues on international migration in the Netherlands. So what we see here is um, a graph which shows the number of Moroccan people heading towards the Netherlands. And as you can see, uh, the level of people moving towards the Netherlands was uh, quite high. But then around the year 2006, 2007, we see that suddenly it declines. And then the argument is that this is because there has been a change in the macro level environment of the Netherlands. And that leads to this outcome, namely declining numbers of Moroccan migrants towards the Netherlands. So let's talk first about this situational mechanism. There is a change in belief formation. So what happens? The Netherlands became much more restrictive in terms of allowing migrants. For migrants, it was much more difficult to find uh, a job in the labor market, in the Dutch labor market. And at the same time, there was the rise of the anti-Muslim uh, and also anti-migrant rhetoric of different uh, political parties in the Netherlands, which also meant that there was a change in the, in the way migrants were perceived by the general public. And that means that the migrants who were already there in the Netherlands were actually less likely to support the people that would come to the Netherlands or aspire to come to uh, the Netherlands. So there were declining motivations of people for supporting new migrants. And so that then led to these action formation mechanisms, which um, um, means that instead of helping migrants who would come, actually the gates were closed by migrants. They would send messages back to people in Morocco and indicate, well, see, the situation in the Netherlands is not as good as it was before. It will be difficult to find a job. It is difficult to get into the country. 
and at the same time also we do not want any migrants here anymore because that will also increase the anti-migrant uh, ideas that exist among some people in the general population. And so what we saw was that basically people turned uh, migrants who were already in the Netherlands from gatekeepers to really closing the gates to new migrants. And altogether, of course, that also leads to a change in the migration culture in Morocco because of the uh, support that was really declining by the already existing Moroccan community in the Netherlands. That then led to yeah, fewer people that were migrating from Morocco to the Netherlands, which then is the transformational mechanism, namely that the migration culture in Morocco changed because of this macro level uh, mechanism that I just described. So Coleman's boat is something that you can think about as a very um, interesting tool for whatever macro level association that you want to investigate, be it between uh, changes in policy and support for, uh, for artists um, or anything else or changing um, behavior in terms of diet of the general population. Coleman's boat can be applied to many different situations, but so also for international migration. And then particularly as to explain why certain, how we can explain certain macro level associations through a micro level mechanism that gets back to the macro level. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.